can hear right oh okay Can you hear? Welcome to another or uh, another Facebook Live. I'm Renee, and if you notice today, I have a different partner. Hello, everyone. My name is Marcus. Uh, I'll be the new intern working here at Marty Video. So I hope y'all can uh, welcome me like y'all did with Renee and all the previous interns uh, that did Facebook Live before me. We're so glad to have you here, Marcus. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so today is my last day here at Marty Velo. Um, yeah, but don't worry, because I'll be still coming back for um, retail on a part-time basis, so you guys can still find me at the retail store. Right, so, yeah. Marcus, mm. how, ha how have your first week been and Mighty Velo been for you? Uh, well, I'd say it's actually been quite uh, interesting. Uh, it's about my fifth or sixth day here, I believe, and I've already learned so much. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm already doing Facebook Live. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Similar to him, I also did a Facebook Live on my fifth day at work. So over here at Mighty Velo, the, learnings, um, the learning curve is very steep and I really got to step out of my comfort zone to learn some, to do things out of my comfort zone. So for example, I've learned how to like speak in front of camera like right now. Mm -hmm. So I've done like three Facebook Live, this is my third Facebook Live already actually. Yeah, she expert already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, um, while waiting for others to come in, uh, let us tell you more information about Mighty Velo's background. So Mighty Velo have been in Singapore since um, 2006. So we have been here for like uh, 16 years already. Yeah, mm. correct. So we are the largest and the most established portable bicycle company in Singapore. Okay, so what we do differently from uh, other companies, uh, usually when you buy a bike, they will assemble the bike overseas and then ship it to here, uh, ship it to Singapore whole. But for us, we actually sh uh, we actually ship the bike over in its pieces and components and we assemble them in-house at our warehouse. So we have a bunch of uh, specially trained technicians to actually assemble the bike. Uh, they can finish it in about three or four hours. Uh. Yes, correct. So um, something different, something special about our body bikes is that we have um, full suspension. So we have the front suspension and also the back suspension. Mm. And also if you look at the frame, so our body bicycles, um, they are made of like monocoque frames, so meaning to say there's one piece, so there's no fold or anything, so it's very rigid and sturdy. Mm, you want to demonstrate the suspension in front of the camera? Sure. So this is an up-close view of the, suspen the front suspension at work. Yeah, so you can give it a nice... Yeah, so that's the suspension there, and then you just... Yeah, just press that, you don't press. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay. Yes. Yeah, so... Uh, you talk about the hmm? you want to talk about the bikes the bikes that we have oh uh, before before we start uh, let hmm. me talk about some store updates so as you guys know we are currently in phase two this means that only two people can go out at a time so for our store also uh, currently we are only open for bike collection bike bike repairs checks and tunings on appointment basis so you cannot just bring your bike down to us and then ask us Hey Tommy, can you help me to repair my bike? My bike, can you help me check my bike? Mm. Cannot. You have to book an appointment. So you can book an appointment um, with us 
by dropping us an email at hello at mightyvalo.com. Yeah, so in short, uh, no walk-ins uh, basically mm, yeah, during this time. Uh, until we hear uh, further updates, uh, then we will let you all know again. Yes, correct. So do follow us on our social media platforms to uh, be kept updated on our latest news. And also for bike collections, uh, so when you receive an email to book a bike collect... Bleh. What am I talking? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last day already, last day already. Don't know Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> a bit hot. Uh. Ah, okay, anyways. Yeah. So uh, when you receive an email to call, come down to collect your bike, do note that only one pack can come can be in our store at one time and you'll be given 20 minutes to um, only 20 minutes in the store to learn how to fold the bikes, to learn more about the bikes. Yeah, correct. Mm, yeah, so simple maintenance and all that. Uh, the staff the staff there are very well trained. Uh, you'll definitely be able to learn everything in 20 minutes. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, we have a question. So we have a question from Annie. Hi, Annie. Why do you need suspensions? Okay, so um, you need suspension because... You want uh, to bring the bike up? Oh, yeah. okay, sure. Okay, so the suspension basically is... Uh, the suspension will actually help uh, absorb most of the... Uh, bumps and like all the nicks la, when you're going uh, through normal PCN or normal Singapore uh, like park connector uh, terrain. So basically it's uh, to make it more comfortable and uh, less, it's not that stiff when you yes, ride correct. more uh, basically. So it absorb, mm. absorb all the bumpiness so it gives you like a smooth comfortable ride. Mm. Hope that answer your question Annie. Thank you so much for the question Annie. Yeah, so Rene, you want to talk about the current models that Mighty Velo sell? Mm, sure. Okay, so currently mm. we have the um, Birdie New Classic, Birdie City, Birdie R20, Birdie Touring Plus, Birdie Roll Off, Birdie GT, Rich GT, Carry Me, Carry All, and the P40. Hmm, that's, that's a lot of bikes we sell mm, actually. Yeah. yeah, so um, usually where we get a lot of questions uh, asking us like, uh, how, uh, how have we been actually... Uh, selling bikes, right? Yeah, how have we yeah. been selling bikes uh, during, this, uh, during this period? Mm -hmm. la. So, uh, because hmm. currently uh, we do not have any uh, bike viewing or test rides because we want to uh, minimize human interaction. We want to minimize hum hu human interactions at the store because we want to keep you guys safe and also ourselves safe. So uh, many have been asking, how do you purchase a bike during this period when there's no test rides or bike viewing? So let me answer your question. Okay, okay. so uh, you want to take it? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so uh, we, we have been selling bikes since uh, during circuit breaker and also in phase two. So in fact, we have sold thousands of bikes, especially during this period, because a lot of people, they want to like keep fit, they want to like exercise, go out to have a breather. So how we do it is we sell it online. So uh, we have a team that will reply to messages on our social media pages, such as our Facebook, Instagram, Google, Google business, business, and also email. Yes, and Carousel right? as well. Oh yeah, and mm. Carousel as well. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah. So, um, if you have any questions, you can just drop us a DM, PM, don't need to be paise, just ask us anything. We actually have a question uh, oh. from Mr. Ron, Ron Situ, yeah. Hi Ron! So why is the bike, why is the bike that high price? Okay, um, uh, so for the bikes that we actually bring in, uh, they're actually made of uh, very premium components. So, uh, fun fact about Birdie, it's actually a German brand, but uh, all of the components actually are assembled and made in Taiwan. Yeah, so basically, yeah, the components are very, uh, very premium mm. and uh, overall the bike uh, quality is very high. Mm. Mm. And just now as what we said, uh, our bikes have a full suspension system. So the front, back um, have suspension so it makes your, your ride more comfortable. And also um, all our bikes are made of monocoque frame, meaning to say one piece. So they are more sturdy and more rigid. Yeah, for the body, yeah, for mm, the body correct. bikes. Mm. So um, coming back to just now, how do we purchase a bike during this period? Correct. So, uh, yeah, so just drop us a PM, don't have to be paise, just ask us anything, our team will reply you um, ASAP lah. But of course, do not text us, at, do not PM us at like 1 a.m. and expect an immediate reply. We'll reply you the next working day. Yeah, correct. So, uh, we have a lot of, uh, uh, in, uh, we have a lot of staff here basically, so definitely we'll be able to get to your question eventually lah. Mm. At, least, at least by the end of the day lah, definitely. Mm. Mm. We reply, yeah, we are very, we are very, um, we are actually reputable for our good customer service because we reply people very fast and we are very patient with, with um, our customers. So if you have any questions, just PM us. We'll address all of your worries. Mm. Actually, right when I start when Renee, when I actually start working here, right, mm. the one question that I actually kept seeing uh, a lot is um, 
why, why my tea fellow doesn't have their own dedicated <laughs> phone line or number? Yeah, we want to explain uh, to our customers. Okay, so if let's say um, a customer call in, let's say if my tea fellow only have one phone line, and if a customer calls in and talk to me for 20 minutes, I explain to the customer for 20 minutes about a bicycle, then all those who are also, um, all those who are like on hold trying to call in, they can't call in and then they can't get an immediate response. Mm, exactly. Then how? Yeah. Then they'll be disappointed. That's why just PM us on our social media, drop us an email. We have um, a lot of stuff to reply you almost immediately. La. Mm, yeah, you can think of the social media as a, uh, a bigger channel of, connect, of connecting to us. La. So basically, uh, if one person asks a question, uh, one, one of our staff can reply, then uh, as that as that's going on, we have another question, then another person uh, answer that question. Uh. Yes, correct. Mm. We have another question from Annie. Ah, yes. Thank you, Annie, for your question. So, is there after sales service, uh, is, is the after sales service lifetime? Okay, so uh, we do offer checks and tuning for a year. So, after you purchase, it's oh, a, oh, I'm uh, so sorry. It's always it's for, free, yeah. uh, oh, it's always free. Yeah, yeah. my bad. But uh, you want to talk about the warranty of the... Ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so our frame, uh, there's a, for all of our body bicycles, the frame has a two years warranty. Mm. Two years so this, warranty. So this, basically this monocoque frame mm. uh, for this bike. Mm. And then all the other components have a one year warranty. But uh, also do note that if you were to modify it um, using third party components, then the warranty will be void. Right, so let's just move this back here. Thank you so much, Annie, for that question. Thank you, Annie, for the question. Okay, also, mm, yeah, so basically that's why we don't have a phone line. So anything, just drop us a PM or just email us. Yep, yep. All right, uh, you want to talk so, about the pointers about yeah. buying a foldable bike? So what are some pointers? So many have been, so what, so Marcus, what do you think are some pointers that people look out for when, um, when they are looking for a performance foldable bike? Okay, so uh, important uh, pointers to look out for, uh, I would say la, the average person would definitely be thinking about uh, what they're using the bike for. So be it leisure or be it their new commuting bike, or if they really want to get, uh, if they really want to find a new way to get into shape, buying a bicycle is definitely will help them. La. And uh, so yeah, so that's uh, for what you use the bike for. And the second pointer would be uh, who is using the bike? Who is buying, like you're buying the bike for who? Is it for yourself, uh, for a friend? For your family member or are you even are you sharing the bike so so that's another very important thing to ask yourself and of course uh being singaporeans i think the most important factor is uh price so that's definitely uh almost in anything if you're continuing to buy something <laughs> yeah okay thank mm. you marcus for sharing your points mm. uh we have another question from uh vin hi vin so vin asks what what's the difference between the city and the touring plus Okay, so um. You wanna bring out city first? Yes, can. I'll take the touring. Oh, never mind. You. Is that okay. touring? Yeah, mm. I have correct. Touring plus. Okay, so for yeah. the um body city, both of them they uses the same Gen three monocoque frame. Um, as you can see over here, Gen three monocoque frame. So for the touring plus as well. So what is the main difference is the, the speed. So this um. This body city has uses the Shimano Sora 9 speeds derailleur while the um, Touring Plus uh, Touring Plus? Mm. No It's okay uh, no, Touring, okay. Plus, yeah. touring uh, Plus uh, basically is a 24 speed uh, shifter and derailleur basically. Yes, so, correct uh, the, mm. the Touring Plus uses um, an, an internal gear hub so that's one of the so that's the main difference so this Buddy City uh, is good for PCN and also uh, like off-road riding whereas the Touring Plus is good for long distance riding because the Touring Plus uses big apple tires so the big apple tires are this one this one yeah so the uh, later we'll get into the tires yes, uh, so these tires basically good for long distance commuting hmm. and the 24 speeds on the city uh, not city sorry the Touring Plus uh, the 24 speeds allow you to like travel long distance at whatever uh, speed you like uh, mm. be it high or low speed mm. Mm. so if you're looking for a bike that uh, you know now nowadays like there's a lot of cyclists that like to cycle to Toas and touch the lamppost uh, and yeah. then cycle back <laughs> yes correct so the Touring Plus would be a good bicycle um, to to use to cycle to Toas yeah because it's good for long distance yeah so uh, hope you answered your question and uh, Vin yeah thanks for the question Okay, so now let's move on to the bikes. 
So let's start off with our smallest, lightest and most compact foldable bike, the Carry Me. Alright. Oh wait, we have another question. Oh, okay, sure. Another I'll just question. Need, I'll just need this here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a question from friends. Hi friends. So what's the other 20 inch rims do you have for Birdie? Okay, so uh, we have the SMC wheel, 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 wheel kit. kit. Yes, correct. Yeah. So uh, later in the video, uh, later in the live chat, uh, we'll be going through the SMC uh, wheel kit. Mm. Uh, we have it attached to one of our bikes actually. Mm. Yeah. So later we'll go more into that uh, later then. Yeah, so, so other, do yeah. stay tuned, do stay tuned. So other than the SMC uh, wheel kit, we also have uh, our Panaracer uh, tires. tires. Yeah. Yes. So those are also 20 inch. Uh, mm. Mm. Thanks for the question. Yeah. So back to this. So as you can see, this is our Carry Me. Yes. It's our Again, lightest and, and most compact for the world bike. Yes. Mm, yes. So coming at, at uh nine nine nine. Okay. Yes. So yeah. So if you give us one thousand dollars, we'll give you one dollar <laughs> back. This joke is so overused, but it's so funny. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So uh, coming at uh, nine hundred ninety nine dollars uh, yes, uh, right, right. and weighing at only uh, eight point five kilograms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a really really light bike uh, Basically, yeah. as you can see, it's no effort for me carrying it uh. I'm sure Renee can carry it, but she just got her vaccination, so no no strenuous activity yeah. Uh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually we got another question. Yeah. Oh. Mm. oh, we have a question from Yongwa. Hi Yongwa. So why is your supply chain so bad that buyers got to wait like two months before they can get the bike? Okay, so uh, due to the COVID situation, the supply chain of the bikes are affected. So um, currently, because of the COVID situation, the shipment has been delayed. That's why uh, everything has been delayed. La. And yeah. also we built our bike on from scratch so we have to wait for all the components to come to us before we can build it yeah not to mention uh, during this uh, pandemic period the demand for bikes has definitely been increased so that doesn't help in the waiting time either mm. yeah so we definitely try our best to like deliver on time basically yes correct mm. okay so back to the we hope we have we have answered your question mm. thank you so much for your patience okay so back to uh the carry me so this carry me as you can see uh, it has a low step over so this is child friendly and also elderly friendly because they can just like get on and off the bike easily like that. Yeah, yeah you can adjust the seat height so it'll mm, be even correct. easier. Mm. Apart from that, uh, it's one speed, it's good for your PCN, it's so small and compact. So, oh, do you want to fold, fold it up to show them how compact it oh, is? Oh yeah, sure, definitely. Okay, so right now this is in its unfolded mode. Okay, so what you want to do for the first step is, of course, you can kick the kickstand up. Then next, you want to just bring this forward here. To the close up so basically there's a lock here you want to loosen the lock so that the the grip on the neck is not so tight anymore and then after that you want to raise the whole thing up like this and then rest it on the two wheels over here to get it stable uh. and then after that before you bring it in right there's actually a little locking mechanism here over here so this is the nut you want to basically slot it into this hole here i'm not sure if you can see that on camera yeah so basically you got to line the wheel up and then just push it in like that okay next i'm just gonna bring it back okay so over here you want to separate the orange piece from the white piece so what you gotta do is just lift up this metal clasp and then lift up like this then bring the seat post all the way up here then loosen the seat then there's a hook here i don't know if you can see it it's a black color hook here okay yeah <laughs> and then you want to hook it down on this white color part like that then once you actually hooked it on the seat will be secure and just bolt the seat in place. Then for the second last step is the handlebar. So what you want to do is you want to release this, close the handlebar like that, then let it just sit down on the seat here. So once it's nice and uh, rested here, then you just lock the bar, lock the bar, sorry. And then the last step will be the pedals. And there you have a fully folded carry me. Yes, so you can, as you can tell, it's su super compact, it's so slim, it's like, my size yeah. yeah so you can just bring it onto the public transport you can just roll it around you can pull it like a luggage yeah you can put it on shelves if you can see like yeah. if you, you push it like that right it's very rectangular so this will fit on top of shelves really easily like, if you want to store it hmm. okay we actually have another question uh, from Jackie. Jackie hi hmm. Jackie so can you explain how to gear change for beginners okay so um, let me get a bike Okay, so I'll uh, just push this uh, to the side first because this carry me has no gear, so we cannot demonstrate on this bike. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the 
R20. Uh, this yes. will be the next part we'll be talking about. So uh, you can see the shifters here. So this is the shifter on the R20. So basically, uh, depends on the uh, bike model itself because they all have different brands of uh, uh, changing. They all have different brands of derailleur. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you need to figure out on the spot lah. Basically, on how to change. So usually, there'll be a setting to go higher gear or lower gear. Mm. Yeah. So uh, for lower gear, which is the lower number, uh, basically means it's the smallest gear. So uh, what happens for when you want to use that gear is uh, you want to go if you're going up like. Deep slopes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want the gear to be as small as possible so that you're able to crank the the bike and move upwards, basically. Mm. Then uh, for a larger gear, uh, basically it's a bigger gear. So basically, when it's on a bigger gear setting, you can actually uh, it'll take a longer time to pedal, but you'll be going much faster mm. than a smaller gear, like, Basically. So smaller gear is easier to pedal, so it's better easier for up slope. Yeah. To to step on it. Mm. Yeah. So you have to put in so much effort to pedal up. Mm, yes. So uh, as you can see over here, I don't know if the close up can. Over here, they are oh. A bit too far here. Yeah. Oh, maybe no close up. Okay, I think you want to show off the, the different type of gears there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so over here, yeah, so you can see the different sizes and the gears are all here. La. So basically, this will also determine the speed of your bike. La. So depending on how many gears it will have, right, it will all be shown here. La. So as you can see, the smallest gears are over here, and then the biggest gear will be at the end here. Yeah, so uh, basically when you start riding, you want to familiarize yourself with the bike mm. because like I said, different bikes have different types of uh, derailers and shifter brands so they might look a bit different la, but the principle should be the same. Mm, correct. Mm. So once you, basically when you're more comfortable, then you just adjust the gear to um, how comfortable you are with riding the bike. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much for that question. Mm. Okay, let's continue with the Carry Me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the Carry Me has seven, seven different colors. Yeah, so, so the mm. colours are um, Amber Orange, Crimson Red, Khaki Brown, Lime Green, Sky Blue, Slate Grey and Yellow. So right now if you um, want to make an order for our Carry Me, it will come in 10 working days. Yes, correct. So um, if you're interested, type out this link, tinyurl.com slash mightyvelo or ordering form. Uh, it will be in the chat as well. So click on it, order this bike coming in 10 working days. Okay, the next bike that uh, also will come in 10 working days is the Reach GT, which is will be our next bike we are featuring. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this Reach GT. Okay, so this, this Reach GT is our only packable bike. So unlike all the other bikes that we carry, the rest are foldable bikes. This is a packable bike. So this is a packable road bike, which um, has 20 inch. So uh, it'll go really, really fast. And it also has 11 speeds. Um, so for those who are looking for a road bike, you can consider purchasing this because you can, can pack it. If let's say like your house has not enough space and you're looking for like um, a road bike still, this bike is for you. Mm. Yep, and uh, weighing only at 10.2 kilograms, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, so for a road bike, a performance road bike, this is a very, very light bike. Mm. Yeah, look at it, it's almost no effort. Mm. Although it's a packable bike, um, it still have the same performance as a typical road bike. So this bike is going for 3550 and we have three colours. So the three colours are aquamarine, black and orange. Okay, so that's for the Rich GT. Mm, okay, so if you're looking for a road bike that uh, is foldable, we have the R20 which we have been showing. So let me get the R20. Mm. So this bike R20, so R20, the R in its name stands for race, road racing. 20 means 20 inch wheels. Yeah, so these are using the Panaracer uh, Minutes tires. So as mentioned just now, it's a 20 inch uh, tire. And the special thing about these tires is that you can see the zoom in here. Yeah, you can see how thin those wheels are. So they're really aerodynamic and uh, you can really pick up. You can really uh, pick up speed with this bike. So if you're looking to, you know, clock a distance within a certain timing, this bike is really, really good for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the R20 uses the um, Shimano 105 11 speed derailleur, and it uses uh, mechanical disc brakes. Mm -hmm. And similar to other uh, body bikes, uh, it has a full suspension system at the front, at the back, and it uses the Gen 3 monocoque frame. So we'll be telling you the colours later on with other bikes. Mm, stay tuned for that. Eh? Mm. <laughs> okay. okay yeah, so you want to go to the next bike? Yes. Uh, uh, the roller? Yeah. 
Okay, so the next bike we'll be showing you now is our birdie roll-off. So this birdie is, uh, I would say, what's, you want to tell them the price of this bike first? Okay, so hmm. this uh, birdie roll-off is five. Oh, we didn't say the price for the R20. Oh, okay. okay so yeah. the R20 <laughs> is retailing at 3999. Okay, mm, yeah, so, so that is good for uh, road racing, the R20. So this is our body roll off. So it's retailing at uh, 39, my bad, no, no, 5950. Five, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you might be asking uh, why 5950? Five, that might be a little bit steep. In fact, this is our uh, priciest uh, body model we have at Mighty Velo. Uh, the reasoning for that is because of this very special component here. You can zoom in on that. The yeah. internal gear hub. So this internal gear hub. Okay, it contains a uh, 14 gears, so it's a 14 speed bike. Yeah, right here, this big color part. So, uh, you want to tell them about the special thing about this? Okay, uh, gear so hub? Um, because of this gear hub, this bike is very fast free. So, the maintenance is almost zero. All you have to do is drip a drop of oil into the internal gear hub. Yeah, if yeah. you can zoom in on there's a tiny little hole there, so you just need to drip a drop of oil yeah, and it'll last you for a year. So that's all the maintenance you need to do. Yeah, so that yeah, the single drop of oil will last you for a full year. So think about how convenient that will be basically mm. next time. So the good thing about this bike, uh, because of its durability, is that uh, it's a very good long distance bike. Uh, you can go really, really far distances without any issue at all actually. Uh, and uh, this bike is actually good for those of you who are you know, considering uh, potentially passing down your bike to your kids and even better, their kids' kids. Yeah, <laughs> so it's so a very uh, good investment. Yeah, this bike will last you a really long mm. time. Yeah. Uh, because of its fast-free maintenance, uh, many people have been purchasing this during the circuit breaker and also phase two because it's super easy to maintain. Hmm. So yeah. similar to other of our body bike, it uses the Gen 3 monocoque frame. Yeah. Again, colours, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, next. Shall we? Oh yeah, okay, so we have a lot of, we have, a, we have this frequently asked question. So people always ask us, what is, what is the difference between the Buddy New Classic and the Buddy City since they are both entry level bikes? So we have a video that will answer your question. Yeah, technical uh, video team will play the video. Thank you for the video. So the video was done by our dearest intern, Sarah. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, it, Sarah. It, so how do you feel about the video? Oh, it was really good. Uh, I really discussed the main differences between the city and the new classic. The questions that we get almost every day here. Yes, yeah. correct. And I really like how Sarah used the Nintendo, Nintendo vibes. Theme, yeah. Yes, correct. It was so cool. Okay. So anyways, there are three main differences between the Buddy New Classic and also the Buddy City. Mm. So the first difference is the frame. So as you can see over here, uh, the Buddy New Classic uses has a, a round tubular frame. So it's actually remodeled after the old the old Buddy, which was discontinued in two thousand and five. So it gives off a retro vintage vibe, lah. Mm. Yeah. So you can see that the frame on the uh, new classic is actually straight and level, whereas the Gen 3 monocoque frame for the city is actually tapered upwards. Uh, it gives a more modern, sleek design, uh, basically. So yeah, this is one of the main differences you can tell. It's a uh, looks looks wise. Mm, yeah. Yes, so correct. yeah, when you maybe choosing a birdie or a city, this is definitely one of the main glaring differences, uh. mm. 
Mm. Uh, the second difference is uh, the speeds. So this uh, Buddy new, new Classic has a, uses the Shimano uh, Acera 8 speed and then this one, the Buddy City uses a Shimano Sora 9 speed derailleur. Yes. Yeah, so basically it's just a speed difference. Uh, it won't make or break the bike, uh, but they're both really good at uh, what they do. They have 9 speeds. It can handle most terrain in Singapore like, basically. Mm, mm. So uh, PCN, light off-road um, cycling. Yeah. And lastly, the, the last difference about these two bikes is the brakes. So the Buddy New Classic uses the um, caliper V brakes. So it's something like the kyap kyap thingy uh, that I like that's, to say. That's a favorite word basically. <laughs> yeah, you want to show them the kyap kyap brakes? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so as you can see, the brakes are here. This black color thing, right? the kyap kyap. So mm. you want to squeeze it? So these caliper V brakes would, um, when you brake at time, when you brake that time, it will grip onto the rim of the tire. Yeah, and if you want to actually do maintenance on this, this is the, actually the brake pad, this is that color thing. Yeah, if you want to swap out the brake pad because it's getting thin, just take out and pop a new one back in. Mm, really correct. simple. Um, as for the Buddy CT, it uses a mechanical disc brakes. Okay, yeah, you can see it. So it's this black. Ooh. Let me help you. Yeah, so it's this black component right here. Yeah, so it's a more updated version. Uh, I mean, no, more, most bikes are using these uh, mechanical disc brakes now, actually. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So for these mechanical disc brakes, after you cycle for, uh, for some time, all you have to do is to just so probably like once a month la, You just take some alcohol swaps to wipes alcohol wipes to wipe wipe the um, disc brakes because mm. dirt might get stuck there. So you might hear some rattling sound. So anything you just wipe it. Yeah. Yeah, or just bring it down to our store via our appointment and do some free check and tuning. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that's our uh, Birdie and New mm. Classic. So, so yeah. this Birdie New Classic is retailing at $2050, $2050. And this Birdie City is retailing at $2650, $2650. Uh, we actually have a question right here uh, by uh, Kiva. Yeah, hi Kiva. So your question is uh, New Classic or City? Well, uh, as, as we have been discussing, uh, we've already laid out all the, dis the differences for you. And they're also both new models, so... Uh, yeah, so many yeah. things to look out for is like... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so they're both uh, entry-level bikes. Mm, yes. Yeah, so um, it's really down to your own preference. So, uh, what, uh, what we'll suggest uh, customers is, do you prefer this round, tubul round tubular frame or do you prefer this Gen 3 monocoque frame? Because um, performance-wise, they're about the same, just... Slightly, slightly faster mm, in the correct. city, yeah. But both of them have the inbuilt birdie suspension, so both of them feel great on like bumpy roads. Uh. No, mm. no issue there, yeah. Mm, okay, uh, we also... Yes? Ah. <laughs> 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 okay, you want to talk about the... the Billy Monk, Billy yeah, Monkotize? sure. Okay, so... Uh, if let's say you would like to go to, if let's say you like to cycle off road, so meaning to say like Coney Island Green Corridor, we have an. What you can do is to change out these tires. You can change out the Buddy uh, New Classic tires to the Billy Bunker tires or the Buddy City to the Billy Bunker tires. We have a video on that actually, because we recently went to uh, Coney Island in phase before phase two. Yeah, you can show the video to them now. Living in the moment And here we are Dreaming in the open Now look around Isn't this a new day we'll Make a move Doing things a new way A new way Cause this is our world And this is our time these are our plans, we're gonna let them shine, this is our place, in the human race, and we won't stop dreaming, no we won't stop dreaming, look ahead, we can see forever.
so far Yeah, we've come so far Cause this is our world And this is our time And these are our plans We're gonna let them shine This is our place In the human race And we won't stop dreaming No, we won't stop Hi, welcome back. Okay, so this video was um, filmed and edited by our dearest JJ. Yeah, so we went to Coney Island. Uh, me, JJ and a few of our interns went to Coney Island before phase two and we went there to film this video. Lah. So... How's the experience at Coney Island riding one of these bikes? Oh, okay. So I would say with the Billy Ponkers installed, right, uh, riding in Coney Island became, uh, was quite it was a smooth ride for me. There, there's like not much bump because like if we, as you can see the Billy Bunker's tires they have like teeth. Yeah. So all these teeth right they are good for um off road riding. So when you cycle that time, uh when it passes by like twigs or pebbles or anything, there won't be like much impact or anything. So it's a smooth ride I would say. Yeah, together with the suspension it must have been really comfortable, right? Mm, yes, correct. Because uh, some of us um, rode, the Billy Bonk, rode with the Billy Bunker tyres and some used the stock tyres. Mm. So that was a really huge difference. And I would say that the Billy Bunker tyres really made it like a smooth, comfortable ride for us. Yeah, so if you're thinking about uh, going like trail riding, you can definitely consider this option uh, with either the new Classic or the City. Mm. So basically what we have here is the Billy Bunker tyres in uh, two different colours. So this is the Billy Bunker uh, black colour on mm -hmm. the new Classic. And this is the Billy Bonkers tires on the city. These are the tan colors. Yes, yeah. correct. So two different colors. So these Billy Bonkers tires, uh, they are retailing for sixty-eight dollars a tire. Uh, if you purchase a bike from us and you haven't collected it and you want to upgrade your tires to the Billy Bonkers tires, they are eighty-eight dollars for a pair. Yeah. Speaking of colors, uh, we actually have a new question. Oh. Uh, yeah. So um, it's from Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Uh, so, hi, is this sky blue for city? Oh, okay, so I think they are referring to that. that this that one, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, so uh, speaking of colours, we can go through the colours now for our Gen 3 monocoque and our new classic frames. Yes. So, as you can see, uh, yeah, this is the sky blue colour. So, this is the Gen 3 monocoque in the sky blue colour. Uh, mm -hmm. If you buy uh, the city, this is the basic colour. Uh, this one has uh, no additional cost, right? City? Oh, yes. Yeah, right. for the frame, for the frame, yeah. So uh, we can show them the colours for our uh, monocoque frames as well. So yes. yeah. Okay, so for our Gen 3 monocoque frame, we have 10 different colours. Yeah, so, okay. uh, so from our mm. standard colours, we have um, the aquamarine, sky blue, lime green and moonstone blue. So lime green uh, has been out of stock for a long time and it's now back in stock. Yeah, lime green is the best colour, right? You want, you want to be spotted at night and <laughs> when you're cycling at night, you buy the lime green colour. You don't need to spend money on your reflectors, your vest. Yeah, you want, you want to be spotted at night, buy the lime green colour. That's what he said. <laughs> okay, so like what yeah. Daryl would say, the highlighter mm. colour. Yeah, highlighter colour, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just it highlights you at night. Mm. Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, okay, so for our premium matte colours, uh, we have the military green, desert sand and sage grey. So you have to top up an additional of $100 for these three colours. And uh, if you pref still prefer something glossy, we have our premium gloss colours. So we have three colours. We have the champagne gold, mercury blue and mercury copper. So mercury blue and mercury copper was uh, out of stock for a very long time and they finally come back in. Yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome, right? Mm. Yeah, so okay. for these premium gloss colours, uh, you are required to top up of, for an addition of additional, $250. Yeah, additional $250. Couldn't so English right there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have another question again from Vin. Hi Vin. Yeah. So I'm checking on, also Vin said, I'm checking on our tour version but weight is heavy. Okay, so the reason why uh, the Touring Plus is actually heavier is because of the 24 speeds. And uh, with 24 speeds, they actually uh, integrated it into the uh, internal gear hub. So uh, with 24 speeds means more gears. And with more gears means more okay. weight. 
Yes. Yeah, so so with this 24 mm. speeds, you can tackle all kinds of terrain. That's why it's slightly heavier. So the Touring Plus is 12.2 uh, kg. So it's slightly heavier than our other birdie bikes. So for our um, birdie city, birdie new classic, they are 10.9 10 kg. kg yeah. yes, and for the uh, R20 previously, that mm. one is 10.8 uh, 10.8 kg. Yes, yeah. And then for the roll off itself, it's 12.2. Uh, no, 12, 12 kg, yeah, then Touring oh, Plus is 12.2, yeah, correct. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, mm. And also, we haven't go through the uh, Buddy New Classic colours. So, ah, the yeah. Buddy New Classic have four colours. Okay, let me just push oh, this out of the way. Okay, yeah. let's take the, the Buddy. Oh, okay, so the four colours for the Buddy New Classic is um, Polished Silver, Mercury Blue, Mercury Grey, uh, and Mercury Copper. So, these four colours, yeah and no additional top up so we only have four colors so if you buy the bike you can choose any of these four colors at 2050 yeah currently the one we have uh, on screen is the polished silver color which actually looks really nice mm, yes honest. correct so for polished silver right you know what's one good thing about this polished silver oh what is it there is no extra uh, paint coat on it so if let's say touch wood touch wood that you scratch against a ah. wall the paint won't chip off Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's there's right. no additional thing code. Nice, mm. nice. Oh, so we have another question from uh, Ibrahim. Mm. Hi, Ibrahim. So, Ibrahim asked, the gross weight for both uh, Classic and City. Okay, so... Um, so, so, yeah. The oh. Buddy New mm. Classic and the Buddy City, they are both 10.9 kg. Yeah, so even for like me, a petite girl, I can like... Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> vaccine. Are you... <laughs> Okay, oh, okay. Since we're at it, uh, shall we teach them how to fold and unfold the bike? Mm, sure. Okay. You wanna do it or? Oh, okay. So, to unfold, uh, so with just four simple steps, you can fold this bike. Kick stand. So, first, shall I go close? Yeah, you wanna go closer here, yeah. sure. Oh. oh, never mind, you can go to the previous camera. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. Here. So, you just have to push this black clip over here, fold this up. Make sure the wheel is um, clipped in and then after that you have to align the pedal to the chain so make sure that it's aligned like parallel over there Parallel Yeah, like then, this Yes, correct Then after that there's this black notch over here I don't think you guys can see but yep so I'll just lift it up just like this And then you. Oh, sorry. Let me push oh, it. Oh, maybe let's get it into frame a bit. Yes. Yeah. Over here. Okay, so after that, you adjust the seat post, put it down. Then after that, the handlebar. Oh, yeah, I can go all the way back now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just push this clip clip thingy. Put the it metal down. pin, yeah, yes, then you can correct. close it down like that. And so, there you have a fully folded birdie. Yes. So to push, oh sorry, you just yeah, have to lean it against the left side of the wheel. So the rear, the back, the left side of the wheel is the rear wheel, the back wheel lah. So um, for our bicycles, you can only push it in front, but you can't pull it back because it'll scratch. Yeah. If you pull it backwards, the chain will actually rotate, and the pedal might actually like come back and hit the frame here. And mm. definitely, you don't want to do anything to your birdie, right? Yeah. So you can yeah. just easily push your bike. Uh, you can also show them, like, uh, you can lift up the seat and... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, for those who... Uh, like, basically, for riding the MRT, like, when hmm. you're commuting, yeah, you can basically just yeah. do this. So, you don't have to bend down, so you can just push it Yeah, around and like the this. seats uh, all have a grip, grip pad here, you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's more comfortable and ergonomic when you're holding the front part. Yeah, so you can just push it and wheel it very easy. Mm. Okay, we actually have another question uh, from Steven. Hi, Steven. Uh, so the question is, can the roll-off fit 20-inch tyres? Can the Billy Bonker or can the Billy Bonkers uh, fit a roll-off? So, uh, Renee? Ah, okay. So, um, you can't use 20-inch tyres on the roll-off because, um, because it uses a 18-inch wheel set because of the internal gear hub. So, you... Eh? Yeah, okay. And then you can fit uh, Billy Bonker tyres on the roll-off, yes. Yeah, but uh, you can't use 20-inch tyres, yes. basically. But, no 20-inch yeah. tyres, but... Billy Bunkers, okay. <laughs> Hope we answered your question. Yeah, so, uh, uh, no 20 inch wheels, mm? but tyres can change. Yes, yeah. change to Billy Bunkers, because Billy Bunkers is 18 inch. Correct. Speaking about tyres, let's um, go through with them uh, other tyres that we have. 
Yep. So we have the ah, black jack tires over here. Okay, so, oh uh, yeah, right here. <laughs> okay, so you can see our black jack tires, I think lower a bit there. Yeah, like here. So you can see they're very rugged and have a lot of teeth. So this will have uh, real good traction when you're riding on like the trail in like, uh, you know, like Mangkuni, if you saw that, uh, that video just now. Yeah, so this tire will be perfect for those kind of terrain. Mm. Uh, these are actually the stock tires for our Buddy GT, but our Buddy GT is currently uh, out of stock. So if you would like, you can indicate your interest on in our interest list. Yeah. Mm. Or you could buy a uh, new classic or uh, city and put the Billy Bonkers tires that we said just now. Yes, Billy Bonkers or, or Blackjack as well, whichever you want. Yeah. Okay, so you want to talk about the next tire? Mm, okay, so next we have the Big Apple tires. So this is the stock tires for the um, roll off, buddy roll off, and the touring plus. So it's good for long distance riding. Mm. Pretty, pretty uh, standard tire lah, basically. But yeah, really, really good for long distance ah. Okay. Okay. So the next tire we have is the marathon racer. Yeah. So this marathon racer, uh, they are good for long distance riding because um, they are puncture resistant. Yeah, so they're really durable, and uh, if you really want uh, a really smooth long distance ride, you definitely don't want to get a flat tire halfway. So definitely get these if you want to like avoid getting like a flat tire along the way lah. So they're puncture resistant. So sharp rocks, any other foreign material on the floor definitely won't be breaking these tires lah. Basically, mm. Mm. and lastly we also have um, the Panaracer Mini tires. Yeah, so these tires are uh, our twenty inch tires. They are again. Uh, available on our R20, so these are for uh, it's for performance and speed, uh, basically. Mm. And it also yeah, comes in two colors. Inch. Yeah, it also comes in two colors, like the Billy, uh, Bonkers. Billy Bonkers in tan and black. Yes, correct. Oh, we have another question from Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. So, uh, just purchased. So, Jonathan said, just purchased and waiting for my bike Thank to arrive. Thank you so arrive. much. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Just curious, can the body bike have back rack like Brompton at the front instead of the side? So uh, what we can recommend you is to get the Oblit Ultimate 6 handlebar bag which is uh, $180 which comes with the handlebar mount. Uh, yeah. Our team will send you the link to this bag so you yeah. can consider it. Yes. Yeah, so it is possible uh, just to mm -hmm. let you all know. So basically, uh, where's the folded? Oh, you uh, want? Yeah, so, you're, we, okay, so we're going to bring out the folded city, uh, not city, the folded new classic. So basically just show you a general idea of where the rack will go. Uh. Yeah, so, sorry, I should, I should have done it. <laughs> oh, so sorry, she just took a vaccine. Okay, so yeah, basically the, the rear tires, were, the rear wheels will actually be fitted onto the rack by the side here. So yeah, definitely will be able to support in the middle. Yeah, it will be fitted there basically. So definitely you can wheel it around like a Brompton. Hmm. Okay, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so uh, for those who have just come in, um, I'm Renee and this is our new intern Marcus. Hello. So today we'll be teaching you how to uh, how to how to purchase a good performance foldable bike in phase two. Mm. Okay, yeah. so some uh, updates, mm -hmm. uh, some store updates. So currently our store is um, only our retail store is open for bike collection, bike viewing, checks and tunings on on an appointment basis. Yeah, and again, only uh, two persons uh, are allowed to uh, visit the store at a time. Uh, but only, oh, sorry, only sorry. one person. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. You can come to the store with two persons, but only one person can be inside the store yeah. physically. Uh, so uh, within the store, uh, you have 20 minutes to stay, uh, to stay inside and to be educated on the bike parts. Uh, basically, when you're collecting your bike, you only have 20 minutes inside to uh, learn how to fold and fold uh, all the components and how to maintain your basic maintenance, uh, basically. Yes, correct. Mm. Uh, so do note that uh, this bike collection, checks and tunings and bike repair is on an appointment basis only. So if you would like to uh, repair your bike or bring it in for checks and tuning, please do drop us an email at hello at mightyvelo.com to put an appointment with us. Um, and also, since now um, we are back in phase two, there won't be any uh, bike viewing or bike testing because we want to minimize human interaction at our store because we want to keep you guys safe and uh, our staff safe as well. So we do hope seek your understanding on this matter. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, this definitely won't be permanent. It will only be until we get further updates. Lah. Yes, correct. Mm. So do follow us on our social media pages uh, to be kept updated on when uh, bike testing and viewing will be open again. Uh, and we have another question from Vin. Hi, Vin again. Hi, Vin. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> can you show the suitable mud guard for Birdie? Oh, okay. So... Um, 
my team will reply you in the uh, chat. So yeah. they'll send you the link. Mm. Yeah, so just be sure to look out for the message, Vin. And mm. mm. yeah, thanks for the question. Okay, so uh, many have also been asking how do you how do you uh, buy a bike since we are now in phase two. So how do you choose a bike? And since we don't have any bike viewing or bike testing, so uh, let me answer your question. Mm. Okay, so um, since Circuit Breaker last year, we have been selling a lot of uh, bicycles online. So uh, we are reputable for our good customer service because we are always online replying to customers' inquiries. So you can always drop us a PM on our Facebook, Instagram, Carousel, Google Business, or drop us an email at hello at mightyvelo.com. Hmm. We are happy to reply you. So we'll, we'll, um, we, will, we will be patient and we'll explain to you um, all of your queries. So don't worry, don't be paisi, just ask us anything, we will answer everything. Mm. But of course, do not um, text us at like 1am and expect an immediate reply lah. Mm. But I will definitely reply the, during the next day. And uh, mm. speaking of uh, asking us any questions, we have a new question uh, from Gerald. Hi Gerald. So Gerald said, hi guys, can I get my P40 tyres changed to 20 inch? Uh, we'll, so, um, yes, you can, you can get your P40 uh, you can change, change yeah. your tires to eh. You can change your P forty tires to twenty inch. Uh, speaking uh, of the twenty inch, uh, we actually uh, we're gonna move on to our new uh, other segment, uh, our twenty inch uh, SMC wheel kit. Yes, correct. Yeah. So you can what you can do is you uh, change your P forty into the SMC wheel kit, which we will show you um, how you can do so through our ordering form. Yeah. So speaking of SMC wheel kit, this is our. R20, right? No, Buddy City. Buddy City. Oh, <laughs> Fifth day at work, give chance, give chance. <laughs> yes, please. please. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this bike looks, just looks so decked out. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. <laughs> okay, so this uh, Buddy City, uh, it's installed. The SMC wheel kit has six uh, components. So it's all installed on this bike. Yeah, so uh, we will show you more through the uh, ordering form. Okay. So basically, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, when you... Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. So this is uh, how our SMC wheel kit will look on the, the bike, like, basically, when you uh, attach it. So uh, as uh, Renee said, uh, when we change the SMC wheel kit, right, you're going to take out quite a lot of the components. So that includes the derailleur, uh, gear hub, I mean gears, and um, a lot of the wheels here, as you can see, uh, basically it's all ripped out. Uh. So um, if you want to upgrade your birdie to an SMC wheel kit, uh, you can actually do it, uh, if you order a bike from us already, you can actually uh, upgrade it through the uh, SMC interest uh, wheel kit uh, on mm. the Google form. Yes, correct. Mm. So uh, we can show you how, how do you do it. Uh, Tim, can you please open up the SMC Google form? Okay, so basically on this Google form, what you have to do is firstly key in your uh, email address. And then, uh, so in this case, you'll just type a random email. Yep, and then after that, uh, you'll have to select whether you're a local buyer or overseas buyer. So in this case, local. And then, um, let's select Birdie City. So which bike do you want to upgrade? Yeah, this depends on what uh, bike you ordered, uh, basically. Yes, correct. And then, uh, are you upgrading your bike that you have already collected from us? So, yes. So, do, would you prefer the 18-inch tire or the 20-inch tire? So uh, in this case, uh, just now the question, you said you wanted to upgrade it to the 20 inch, then you can select 20 inch. But for in this case, we will select the 18 inch tires because, uh, <laughs> oops team, sorry, because yeah. it's more versatile. La. You can select more tires that you would like. So, yeah, so we, here you can select the tire that you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, so maybe just click the fan eraser maybe, or marathon eraser also can. Mm. Yeah, then after that, uh, okay, so the tubing is all standard. Uh, we use the for same the 18 for, inch, yeah, for yeah, the 18 inch, yeah, it's all standard. Yeah. So over here, you just have to select uh, all of these items. To, to, it's just to let you know what items you'll be getting. La. So you'll be getting the wheel, the tyres, the inner tube, the derailleur, the chain, the shifter, and also the cassette. So um, the wheel kit is going for 2170 uh, for the 18 inch one, and then the 20 inch one is Two one nine two, so it's a twenty-two dollars difference for the different wheel size. Okay, then we click next. So these are um, some optional add-ons. So yeah, just now the brakes that uh, we were talking about just now, uh, you can also choose to add the uh, add them here. 
and you can select the color here, red, uh, red, blue, or whatever colors you want to select here, obviously. So, yeah, you can choose any of the colors here. And then, uh, yeah, these are disc brakes. Yeah, yeah. so these will be disc uh, uh, brakes. Four pistons. pistons mm. Four pistons disc brakes. So it's like the four cap caps. <laughs> the four cap caps, yeah. Yes, you want to have four blue cap caps? You want to have four purple cap caps? Yeah, you can definitely choose here. Mm. And next is the peeps. Uh, so this is uh, the crank set for the uh, bike. So basically, uh, you can choose what kind of uh, how big you want the crank set to be. La. So as I mentioned just now, uh, the more teeth you have, uh, the bigger the rotation you need to do. So uh, 56 teeth being the highest and then uh, 40 teeth being the least. La. Mm, correct. Mm. So click next. So after this, you just have to key in your name, contact number, agree that you are uh, agree that you you are aware that you have to make full payment via cash, PayNow, or bank transfer, and then uh, give us three working days for our team to email you an invoice to make payment. Yes. Okay, then you can hit next. Oh, and that's all. After you submit, that's all. Oh, yes. that's all. Okay. So Correct. And we have another question from Vin again. So hi, Vin. Uh, do you have any? So Vin asks, do you have any mud guards that I can roll? Unfortunately, no. Uh, when you install. Uh, mark guards into our bikes, you cannot roll the bike because it will get blocked. Yeah, because it's resting on one wheel, right? Uh, you want to bring in the hmm? you wanna bring in the classic again? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I, do, I, do. <laughs> I, I just got vaccine, so they said no strenuous activities, so I, I guess I'm... I guess I can just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is the bike uh, when, when it's in its folded form. So if you actually have a mud guard somewhere here, right, it will actually interfere with the rolling. So it's a balancing on one wheel only. Yeah, so if you have a mud guard either in the front or the rear, right, it's going to be interfered like halfway. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, you cannot install a mud guard. Uh. Mm. Mm, right. so sorry, uh, yeah. oh, we answered your question, Vin. Mm, I'm, just gonna okay. put, I'm just going to put this here so later in case we bring out, okay? Definitely okay, use it again, okay? okay. So uh, let's move on to accessories. So when you come down to collect your bike, uh, when you come down to collect your bike on appointment basis, mm -hmm. we will do three simple installation. So what we'll do is what we can install for you is fit lock, um, pedals, and also kickstand. Kickstand, yes. Yeah, correct. So uh, it's all over here. Yeah, you can change the camera view. Okay, now this thing is blocking. Okay, so for fit lock, oh, actually, can we show video team? Can we show the um, fit lock bottle video first? Thank you for the video. Okay, so for our bottles, we have three different types of bottles. So we have the um, 590 ml bottle, um, 450 bottle, and also the 450 kids bottle. Yeah, so the kids bottle, uh, the difference is basically it doesn't, ha uh, doesn't have the, the cap to cover it. So mm. the kids bottle is just uh, exposed like that. La. Yes, correct. And also the kids bottle, it comes with this uh, base. So it comes together. A set. Yes, correct. So it's retailing for uh, seventy two dollars this set. Okay, so uh, you wanna talk about what fitlock is? Oh sure. So fitlock is a uh, easy. Okay, so. Oh. It's an accessory. <laughs> okay, so the fitlocks are accessories that you can actually attach to your bike using this stand. This is called the uh, uni stand. Uni base. Yeah. Uni base stand. Sorry. Yeah. So what this is uh, basically, you can see there's a uh, two uh, ports here and a middle port. So basically what you want to do, uh, as you can see just now, is you want to align these three ports with the uh, fit lock uh, attachment onto your accessory. So basically you just need to put it together. The two prongs here are actually magnetic. So once you just put it together, it snaps into place really well. As you can see, it's really attached and it will stay there until you twist it. Yes. Yeah, so that's how you remove it. Again, just attach and twist to take out. Okay, so for this uni base, uh, it's very easy to install. So it's like a... It's like a, it's like a zip tie or like a typical watch strap. So all you have to do is to just um, install it to either the neck of the frame, neck of the handlebar, or the frame of your bike. So let us show you a close up on how you can install it on your bike. Yeah, so right here we have our roll off again as mm. an example. So right mm. now the roll off has a uni base attached onto the neck of the handlebar. So yeah, simply just. Slot it in like that, and you have a water bottle here already. Mm. And again, as we mentioned, 
This water bottle is not coming out unless you twist it. Yes, correct. Yeah, pretty slick actually, this thing. Mm. So it's magnetic. Lah. So even if I just do this, it will attach. Yeah. Then if I want to drink water, just twist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. okay. So uh, we have two, two different colours. The um, transparent and also the black. So they are retailing at uh, $48 for the bottles. And then if you want to purchase the uni base over here, this is $34. Yes, so you have to purchase it together. Alright, so the next accessory we have here, uh, also under Fitlock, uh, will be the uh, toolkit. So uh, you want to show, video team, you want to show them the video on this? Yeah, so we have a video for this as well. And that was the Fitlock toolbox. So basically, uh, kind of zoom in here a little bit. So this is how the, the toolbox looks like. So it's got an exter uh, exterior hard case outer. So it will protect your tools inside, especially if you want to bring like electronic tools. And you open it up. And this is how it looks like inside. So this is the components you can have. You can turn this thing as well. So expose another component right here. So you can put like your uh, screwdrivers, you know, your Allen keys right here. Then as you saw on the video, you can put like your thin wrenches here. And then maybe you can keep some like loose bolts here in case you want to tighten something. La. So again, just close it like that. And then it also has the, the fit lock attachment here. Same thing. Just put it on your uni, uni base. Done. Yeah, want to remove it, twist. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, we have another question from, from David. David. Hi, David. So what is the size of the SMC carbon wheel as shown? So just now the, uh, the Birdie City, uh, Marcus is taking a bike now. So, um, so this, this Birdie City with SMC wheel kit is showing the 18 inch. Mm. With 18 inch wheel. Yes. Yeah, Hope so that answers your question. Yeah, 20 inch will just, uh, you can visualize it'll look slightly bigger. Yeah. So the SMC wheels actually also make your bike lighter because they are made of carbon fibre. And since they are made of carbon fibre, it's also still as strong as uh, it would be a normal wheel. Mm. Yeah, it looks really sick too, mm. if you ask so me. So it makes your bike go faster and it's also lighter. Okay, mm. now... Uh, uh, we have another question from Jason. Hi Jason. So Jason asked, may I know how many tooth engagement and crawl does the SMC wheel hub have? So it has 30. Hope that answers your question, Jason. Yes. Okay, so uh, moving on to our fit lock, uh, we still have one more uh, item here. Yes, which is this um, push saddle. Oh, over here. Ha, the camera is over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this um, push saddle bag. So video team, can you please show them a video on this? So as you can see from the video, uh, it is very easy to install it and also to remove it. So uh, can we have the main camera please? Okay, so just like the other items, this is made of magnetic. So you just have to install this it. This is made of magnetic. Eh, what? what am I talking about? Ah, this is a there's mag a magnetic feature system. Yeah, there's a magnet in here. La, in short, that's what she's trying to say. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, so let's zoom in here. Okay, so this is... Actually, don't zoom in here. Like, this is scary. Okay, so... Uh, as you can see, this is our uh, new classic with the uh, saddle, saddle back uh, pouch attached to the seat. So basically, it's mounted onto the, the rack of the seat. Mm. And then, uh, basically, you just got to align your fill lock case and then it'll be in place, uh, basically. Yeah, mm. so if you want to remove it, just push this button, as mm. its name suggests. Push, saddle, push, back. Push, saddle, back, yes. Yes, correct. So um, this bag is made of, it's waterproof, mm. so you have to worry if it touches the water or like, if, you cycle, if, it, if it rains, yeah, if it rains, basically. Yeah, but we don't recommend you to cycle in the rain. But if, let's say... You get caught in the rain, yes, yeah, correct. unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, so you can store your basic stuff there. If you want to travel light when you're cycling, you can put like uh, keys. keys, wallet, yeah. coins. Yeah, the basic, the bare necessities, basically. Mm, correct. Yeah. Okay, we have another question from uh, Gerald. Hi, Gerald. So Gerald asks, if, if I do the wheel, keep up, wheel kit upgrade, but I don't want to keep my existing kit, will you guys take it in? 
Yes, you may trade in your existing kit on upgrade or when you upgrade your SMC wheel cap. Wheel kit. set for a new bike order. Yes. Did you yes. say wheel cap? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. My my, right my, my tongue is like I think <laughs> short tongue or like brain not working. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so thanks for the question, Gerald. Uh, we actually didn't cover that. But yeah, you can actually uh, exchange the other parts depending on the bike uh, you're buying. So if you're buying like a uh, R20 and uh, let's say someone's buying an R20 and someone's buying a, a CT, if both mm. of them want to exchange for an SMC wheel kit, uh, the trade in value is different. Uh. Yes, correct. Mm. For the CT, it's $300 and for the R20, if I'm not wrong, uh, it's 500 Basically, there's a difference. Uh. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, we actually have another question from, from David. David. Hi, mm. David. So, can the 20 inch uh, SMC carbon, carbon, wheels, carbon wheels fit the Billy Bonker tires? No, cannot. Because our Billy Bonker tires are 18 inch. So, if um, the tires are 18 inch, it only can fit onto the 18 inch wheel set. Mm. Yeah, like the Panerasa means, basically. Yes, correct. Mm. So, if you want um, the Billy Bonkers one, just get the 18 inch yeah, SMC wheel kit. Uh, the, the 18 inch. Uh, Wheel kit. I, can, I don't know why I cannot pronounce wheel kit today. <laughs> so the 18 inch wheel kit um, is more versatile because you can fit in more tires. So hmm. for the 18 inch uh, wheel kit, you can more have more tires. The, you mean bigger tires? No, no. It's more versatile because you can you oh, can oh, use yeah, more yeah, different tires. Yeah, yeah. Different, okay, tires. different so, type of tires. Yeah, yeah. correct, correct. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so um, the Big Apple is 18 inch. Uh, Black Jack, Billy Bonkers. Marathon racer. And marathon racer. Yeah. Yes, correct. Thank you. Okay, so moving back to accessories. So another another thing you can install um, during your bike collection is the pedals. So over here we have the uh, Crank Brother Stem One pedals. Yeah, so I just put oh. this down so that you can see the different colors we have. Mm, correct. Mm. So we have six different colors. So we have the blue, black, aquamarine, orange, citron, and uh, red. Yes, correct. And we also have it in two sizes: the large and the small. Yeah, so can you see the difference here? Dominic. Yeah, like that. So basically for the small one, uh, it fits uh, shoe sizes uh, from US 5 to US 10. And for the large ones, it's uh, US 10 to US 15. Uh. So basically, uh, you can take your pick uh, and you can see which one fits you better. So why you want to change to these uh, pedals is because there's better grip than the stock pedals. Mm. And also, I mean, just look at the colors. You can definitely pimp up your bike, you know. Yeah. yeah, it would look really, really nice. Like, just, okay, just now highlight the colour, right? Uh, <laughs> buy this also. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't be seen everywhere yeah. at night. Because um, it has a larger surface area, area as compared to the uh, stock tyre. So you stock tyre? Eh, stock, stock pedal. pedal. Oops, ah. my bad. Okay, so you can have a better grip and it's easier to pedal because of the larger surface area. So these pedals are retailing at $68 uh, a pair for a pair. And last but not least, we have the kickstand. So we have three different types of kickstand. So this is the adjustable kickstand. So yeah, as its name yeah. suggests, um, you can adjust the height of the kickstand. So it's retailing at fifty-three dollars. Yeah, we can't show it now because it's a new one. Uh, mm. So sorry about that. <laughs> and yeah. then we also have the regular kickstand. So this is the one that goes on the Buddy New Classic. Yeah, so the kickstands are actually uh, frame dependent, mm -hmm. yeah, frame and wheel dependent. Uh. So basically, this is for the new classic only. Mm, and it's retailing at uh, forty three dollars. This one is the Gen three uh, frame kickstand and retailing at ninety three dollars. And it comes in both uh, eighteen inch and twenty inch sizes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's for our accessories. Yeah, this this is uh, for our accessories that you can install when you uh, come down. To collect your bike, we only accept these three. We only would install these three three types of accessories when you come down. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that actually covers what we all. What that actually covers everything we actually wanted to say. Um, lastly, uh, we'd like to ask Renee since it's her last. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Since oh, it's your last. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, run through the. Okay. okay yeah. Let's run through the price for our accessories mm. again. So for our um, feedlock bottles, we have three kinds. So this um, 590ml is, um, is $48. $48. Yeah. And then this one also, $48. This uh, 450ml, the one with the cap. For our kids bottle. Yeah, the kids one only comes as a set. So mm -hmm. it comes with one uh, kids bottle and one uni base. So together, oops, sorry. Yeah, together they are uh, $72. $72, yeah. 
And then for just the uni base alone, if you just want to have an attachment, if you already have uh, existing uh, fit lock accessories, yeah, you want to buy a new base, one will cost $34. Yes, correct. And then for our pedals, um, they are $68 a pair. So yeah, regardless so of the size, small or large, $68 a yeah, pair. Yeah, inside there's two, so yeah, don't let the packaging fool you, okay? <laughs> there's no way we sell you one, then the other one do what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and lastly, uh, the kickstand. So the adjustable kickstand is uh, retailing at uh, $53, and then the new classic kickstand is retailing at $43. $49, eh, $43, my bad. And also, uh, lastly, our Gen 3 bike kickstand is retailing at $93. Mm, for both 18-inch and 20-inch, 20 inch, yeah? Yes. So, before we end off, do you guys have any questions for us? Yeah, we'll just wait a while for questions mm. to come in. Uh, in the meantime, Renee, this is your last day here. It's also your last Facebook Live. So, how do you feel overall about the internship? And uh, mm. do you have any advice? as a senior, you know, okay. senpai, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cringe. Okay, so um, for me, honestly, I feel quite sad because I really had a good time here at Mighty Velo. Yeah, and, uh, and I managed to step out of my comfort zone to do things that I usually won't do. So for example, doing Facebook Live, talking in front of a camera. Yeah, she's doing great, right guys? <laughs> <laughs> Just that I can't English today, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, and also uh, I managed to do like, oh, I also filmed a, a week in my life as a Mighty Velo intern, which will be coming out next week. So mm, do stay tuned. For that, yep. Follow us on our social media pages. Mm. So our um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. yeah she worked really hard on that, guys. Please support her. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, correct. Okay, so uh, other than that, mm. I think it was very fun, very fun. Because previously, before we were in phase two, mm. when we can still go out in fives, uh, we could go out for photo shoots, which was very very fun. Although it was very very hot, but like it was a good experience, lah. So like, uh, when you see all the photos on like our Facebook and Instagram pages, those photos are taken by mostly taken by our interns, and we edit the photos ourselves. Yeah, so mm, you definitely yeah. picked up a lot of editing skills, right? Mm, correct, yeah. correct, and also video editing skills. Yeah. Like, I I I think that is pretty interesting because um that's one. That's in my bucket list to actually learn Premiere Pro as well. Mm. So over here at Mighty Velo, I was given a lot of opportunities to try things that um, most companies wouldn't let their interns do it. Lah. Mm, mm. Definitely. So I, I have already seen it lah, basically when I came for my five days. So I'm definitely looking forward to learning all of this also. Mm. Yeah, and today's first Facebook Live, I think it's pretty good. Mm. Right, pretty that's good, good, right? that's good. Yeah, oh. So it's my first one, it's your last one. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, I'm still coming back for uh, part-time retail. Yeah. Maybe who knows one day, uh, Lao Pan just asked me, Bene, today you do Facebook Live, no, don't need to prep, yeah. just come. Yeah, idea, you come who back knows? for part-time Facebook knows? Live. Uh, stay tuned for that also. <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, yeah, we have a new question, from, yeah. uh, Mr. Hobbs. Hi, Mr. Hobbs. So, uh, do you have an online shop? Yes, we do. So, uh, you, can, you can purchase um, our, our bikes and our accessories from shop.mightyvelo.com. Mm. So if you would like to purchase accessories, you can go to shop.mightyvalu.com. If you would like to purchase our bike, you can go to our tiny URL um, dot or just slash. Yeah, you can go to that tiny URL. Yeah. Yes, correct. Our team would send it in to yeah. the chat. You yes. can go to the you can go to the link also to actually just browse through all of the products we have, including mm. all the bikes. Uh, so you want to choose, uh, you want to have a better picture of the of the bike and all the stats of the bike, the specifications, you can definitely check out the website as well. Yes, correct. Mm. So uh, from our ordering form, you're, you'll be able to find out uh, which bikes are available for collection in 10 working days and which bikes are available for uh, collection in mid-October. Uh, so currently, uh, only our Carry Me and our Rich GT would be... Um, but if you order now, you'll mm. receive it in 10 working days. The rest would be coming in mid-October. Yeah, mm. so if you order now, basically you'll join the shipment uh, in mid-October. Okay, we also have another question from Annie. Hi Annie. So Annie asked if there's any uh, discount. So uh, the only discount that we have is the SMC wheel kit. When you trade in your when you trade in your parts, there will be a discount based on which bike you're purchasing. The rest of our accessories and bikes, there are no discount. I hope that answers your questions, Annie. Yeah. So uh, like I said just now, uh, if you buy let's say an R20 and someone buys a Burley City. The price, uh, the difference of the discount will be, di uh, cha will be different uh, because it's a di two different bikes, so internal components also different, so that means different prices as well. Mm, correct. Mm. So, if we, uh, there's no other questions, 
uh, I think we have come to the end of our Facebook Live. Mm. So thank you so much for watching us and listening to us. This is Marco's first Facebook Live and my last Facebook Live. Yeah, Renee signing out, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> so thank you so much for supporting me throughout my uh, entire two months here at Mighty Velo. So till next time, bye!